Good morning. Today I am going to discuss class 5 maths lesson 1 large numbers. First topic expanded form. So expansion of a number that is writing the place value and adding. Take one example. Look at this number here. Always write the place value chart and write the number under the place value chart. So it is easy to read. So look at this number here. So what you have to do write the place value first. So, what is the place value of 2? It is in 10 lakhs place. So, it is 2 10 lakhs. That means 20 lakhs. Now, 3 lakhs. 3 lakhs. 4 10,000. That means 40,000. 5,000. 5,000. 600. 600. 17. That means 70. 2 ones. 2. Now, I have written place value. Now, what to do? Just add them. So, I need to put that sign here, 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 here and here. So done. It's very simple. First write the place value and add them. And now this one, this is also same but it is in words. So it is 2 10 lakhs plus 3 lakhs plus 4 10,000 plus 5,000 plus 600 plus 7 tens plus two ones. Fine, this is same, it is in words. So, it is clear expanded form, write the place value and add. Now, standard form, it is the opposite. Here, expanded form given, we need to write the number. So, look at the place value here. What is the place value of this number? It is 7 lakhs. So, in here, I need to write 7 in lakhs place. 60,000 that means 6 10,000 so 6 will come here in 10,000 plus 1000 there is no 1000 so it will be 0 here 600 to so 6 will come here in 100 plus 50 5 10 so 5 will come here in 10 plus 4 1 so 4 will come in 1 space done simple now successor what is successor see here I have taken two numbers 1 and 2. So, 2 comes immediately after 1. So, 2 is the successor of 1. And how, what to do to get 2? Just add plus 1. So, what is successor? For any number, its successor is the number plus 1. So, take one example from your book. Look at this number here. So, I need to find out the successor of this number. It is 3 crore 56 lakh 45,078. To get the successor of this number, I need to add plus 1. And you know how to add horizontally. We first add just 1's place. So 8 plus 1, 9. So no carry forward. Rest of the digits will be same. So to find our successor, we need to add plus 1 only. Fine. And how to get predecessor? Here, I have taken two numbers, 1 and 2. So, predecessor is the number that comes before, immediately before. So, here 1 comes before 2. So, 1 is the predecessor of 2. To get 1, we need to subtract 1 only. Fine? So, for any number, the predecessor is the number minus 1. Take one example from your book. The predecessor of this number 53 lakh 21,234. To get the predecessor of this number, subtract minus 1. So do it horizontally. So first we start from 1's place, 4 minus 1, 3, no borrowing. So rest of the digits will be same. So 53 lakh 21,233 is the predecessor of this number. Now comparing numbers. So there are different steps or rules to compare the numbers. First what you have to do? Compare the number of digits. The number with more digits is greater than. Look here. Look at this number. First we need to count how many digits are there. In this number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 digits and here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So which one is greater? This one is greater. So simple, it is the first step to find out. Now, rule number two. 
If the number of digits is equal, then compare the first digits. Look at these two numbers. Here, this number of digits are same. It is six digit number, it is also six digit number. Then how to compare? Compare the first place. Here it is eight and here it is six. So which one is greater? This one. So this number is greater than this. Fine, clear? Rule number three. If the number of digits and the digits in the first place are equal, compare the digits in the second place. Look at this two number here. This is six digit number. This is also six digit number. The first place is eight and eight. So we need to compare the second place. It is four here and it is five here. So which one is greater? Five. So this number is greater than this number. So we need to continue in this way. We compare the digits from the extreme left and continue till two different digits are found. Fine, it's simple. Now, this look at this number. In these two numbers, both of them have same number of digits. Five, five and all the digits are same. So this is equal to five. This is equal. Ascending order. Ordering the numbers from the smallest to the largest. Always remember ascending means smallest to largest. We already know how to compare the numbers. So first count the digits. It is five digit, five digit, five digit, but this is six digit. So this number is the largest one. So it will be largest. So now we need to compare these three digits here. Three numbers here. So the first First place, it is 2, it is 4, it is 3. So, which one is smallest? 2. So, this number will come first. This is the smallest number. So, next comes 3. So, this number will be the next one. Next comes 4. So, this one will be the... And don't forget, when we write in ascending order, we just we need to write less than. Don't put comma. Fine. We put the sign less than. So clear ascending order means smallest to largest. And what about descending? Descending order, ordering the numbers from the largest to the smallest number. So here largest number will come first and then smallest. Look at these numbers. This is very inter interesting numbers. These numbers are so all of them are six digits number. So compare the first one. Oh, all of them have. 7 in the first place. Second place, 9. Oh, all of them have 9. So compare the third place. It is 5, it is 2, it is 8, it is 2. So which is greatest here? This number. So it will come first. Now we need to compare among these three. So in here, the three, third place, it is 5. So it will come now, which numbers are left? This one and this one. Here, both of them have 2 in the third place. So, I need to compare fourth place. In this number, 8 in the fourth place. And in this number, 5 in the fourth place. So, which one is greater? This one. So, this is the smallest number. So, don't put comma when you are writing. So, this is greater than. This is greater than. Clear? So, descending order means largest to smallest. Now, forming numbers. Using the given digits only once. So, here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 digits are given. We have to form greatest number and smallest number. But, we are not supposed to repeat this number. So, greatest number. Arrange the, how to make the greatest number? Arrange the digits in descending order that means from the get greatest number to the smallest number so what is the greatest number here nine then eight so write eight then six then five then two then zero so done it's very simple to make greatest number write the arrange the digits in descending order now, how to make smallest number? 
to make smallest number it is we need to arrange them in ascending order that means from smallest number to largest number but here we have zero so can we take zero in the first place no so then it will be it will not be six digit number it will be five digit number then so don't if you have zero don't take it in the first place so take the second smallest number first what is the second smallest here two so start from two and zero comes in the second place and the remaining numbers remaining digits will come in ascending order so what will come here so five then six then eight and then nine clear so that's all for today thank you take care bye bye